The impact Parkinson's has, on, has had on my life is pretty much all-consuming. I was diagnosed um, at the age of 27, and my symptoms were um, chiefly tremor on my right side, and um, uh, that was it really. It was just, it was just, a, a, and when I wrote, when I was writing sort of postcards or writing anything, my hand would sort of just go into a slight spasm, and, and I wouldn't be able to finish finish off a line of writing. I suspected something was up, but I didn't know it had a name. Had it, it had the name Parkinson's on it, and um, I didn't know what to expect really. I, I, um, I guess just completely numb. Um, the word Parkinson's just reverberating over and over in my head. I wasn't listening to what what the uh, what the neurologist was saying. He was spouting words which I didn't understand, and and um, and. It, it's something that will live always in my memory. You know, the, the diagnosis is, it's, it was not a, it's, it's, it's a, a, a very numbing experience. I didn't have a clue what Parkinson's was when I was diagnosed. Um, I didn't know whether, you, whether I was going to die. Um, what, I, what I did know um, was that it was about tremor. Um, but I didn't know all the other things that, that are attached to it. I don't just have the tremor, I have, I have this thing called bradykinesia, which is a paucity, a slowness of movement. And, um, and I get these on-off fluctuations so that, I mean, you, you see me now in, in a reasonably good state, I'm, a, I'm, I'm moving around a bit, which is the dyskinesia, which is a side effect of the drugs. But um, when I wake up in the morning, I can't can't move at all. So it's um, so so. It, I mean, there has been a radical deterioration, and yet my and yet my on time remains quite good. So I'm still able to communicate. I'm still able to do all the things I need to do. It's just a case of um, of planning my day around around so that I can do the things when I want that I want to do in, during my on time. So that so that um, and that's the way I have to live my life now. You know, it's um, it's. It's very, um, uh, it's very limiting as to what as to what you can uh, achieve because of these on-off fluctuations. The first time I froze, I, I wasn't actually scared. It, it was, it was in the morning because so I didn't I, I didn't freeze in a in a place where I was where I was uncomfortable, and you know I was in the home and. Uh, and no, I, I, I um, freezing, freezing is a is a strange one. I, I doesn't. I can always get myself moving somehow um, by um, various mechanisms, various various ways that I can get myself moving. The impact Parkinson's has had on my life has has been it's it's pretty much all consuming. It, it's um, I mean, when, after my diagnosis, it was. It changed my life, and I lost a lot of confidence. Lost, lost a lot of um, uh, my willpower, and and uh, lost uh, lost my sense of humour, and and lost my ability to socialise as, well, as well a little bit. But since then, I've I've, I've fought back, and and actually, um, rather than rather than let Parkinson's get me down, I've I've almost embraced the thing that's throttling me, and. Um, and now I now I'm totally sort of involved with Parkinson's and and get an enormous sense of fulfilment and sense of worth by doing that. My family have been amazing. They they've supported me. They've been um, and my friends have, have been amazing. They, they've um, given me the uh, the support that I've needed to um, to to be able to live with this condition and, and live with it what, what I perceive as put successfully. And um, so if you have that support and you can draw on the support and not be afraid to draw on the support, to communicate with family, friends and family, and, and uh, then you can, then, I don't think people should be afraid of, of communicating. It's, um, people want to give. And um, if you allow them to, then you can, you can, you can actually, they provide a huge source of support. Um, 
relationships. I, I for a long time I wasn't um, married when I got Parkinson's, and for a long time I thought I was doomed to to a life without um, without a, without a, a wife. And uh, but um, I, I'm I'm now married, and uh, and I met my now wife seven years after being diagnosed. So so um, so it's um, I don't know why she puts up with me, but she does. This awareness campaign is crucial because people don't understand what, what Parkinson's is and, and I think if people don't un understand it, it's, um, it's very difficult to, to feel passionate about it, to, um, to make things happen. And um, because I'm a firm believer that Parkinson's, the, the route to a better life with Parkinson's actually starts from grassroots level. And she starts with the patients themselves. And if the patients are out there communicating what it, what it is to have Parkinson's and if the patient, organisa patient organisations like the EPDA are there to support that, um, those, those views, then, then, we can, then there's better understanding which in turn leads to uh, greater activity and, um, and more passion and more focus on this condition which, which sadly doesn't get the... the um, the, the profile that it should do because it's associated with the elderly and 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 um, it's, it's associated with elderly people shaking when the reality is, is is far from that. I think the PDA hopes to achieve through this campaign a um, a greater sense of understanding amongst the general public about what Parkinson's is. I like to be able to shop like everyone else. I'd like to be able to cross a street. We who have Parkinson's disease dream these dreams every day. It's also to try and motivate patients themselves to communicate better because it's communication which is for me the, the most important thing with Parkinson's. You've, you've got patients have got to communicate better with with their consultants so they know what questions to ask. The consultants have got to communicate better with the patients to, to address their needs because they, the consultants don't know everything. They, you know, they tend to see the physical symptoms, but don't address the the more psychological um, aspects of the condition, and um, so it's it's really about um, providing a forum where communication can be, where, where we can communicate what Parkinson's is all about from every every from every every perspective, from the from the patient to the carer to the um, members of the multidisciplinary team to the neurologist pharmaceutical industry, to all members of the Parkinson's community, so that they can all channel their, their knowledge into one push for, for the cure and for better management of the condition. The difference this campaign will make um, will um, undoubtedly be beneficial to people who have just recently been, been diagnosed. It will, it will allow them to have a better understanding of what they're in for and because Parkinson's is a journey and you need signposts along the way and it shouldn't be just about your relationship with your neurologist it should be about the whole the whole um, the whole way of life the whole quality of life it needs to be um, all of it needs to be addressed so that so that uh, you have relationships with you know your wife your family and your job and all these aspects need need to be uh, addressed and you need signposts to know which way to go to to look at the choices because without without the information you can't you can't hope to engage in your own illness 
but but having said that, it the, the condition itself is um, is all consuming. It's with you twenty four seven. It's it's um, with you every moment of the day, and it's very difficult to um, to come to terms with that. But once you have, then I think you can you can do something with it, and 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 actually um, live a life which is which is a, one of quality and and. Um, and if you, if you if you can work with it, if you work within the parameters of what the physical, the physical parameters, then you can uh, then you can concentrate on what you can do rather than what you can't.